Kakashi Sensei! I've been waiting for you, Naruto. This is new. You never come out to meet me like this. I know. There's something we need you to do. What is it? Come on. We're going to the Hokage's mansion. Huh? There you are. Huh? Everybody's here. What's going on? And, uh, who's that? Who's the geezer frog? Watch your mouth. This honorable personage is one of the two great sages of Mount Nyoboku, Lord Fukusaku. He's the venerable master who taught Lord Jiraiya sage jutsu. Huh? Pervy sage's teacher? <laughs> Pervy Sage, huh? What a fitting nickname for Jiraiya Boy. So what's the frog geezer doing here? I'm not sure where to begin. But uh, I suppose the most important thing is... Huh? Jiraiya Boy has fallen in battle. What? what? What are you talking about? He was fighting the leader of the Akatsuki. One attack caught him off guard, and he was gravely injured. Jiraiya boy was covered in wounds, but he entrusted his information on pain to me, and faced the Akatsuki alone. He's left the rest up to you. No, that's... that's gotta be a lie. It's the truth. But Pervy Sage, he never... It's the truth. Accept it. Huh? Naruto... You let him go? Grandma? That's right. Why... Why'd you let him take that risk? You know Pervy Sage better than anyone! How could you send him to such a dangerous place alone? Stop it, Naruto. You of all people ought to know how the Hokage is feeling now. <sighs> Naruto, where are you going? Kirby Sage had been fifth Okage. He wouldn't have let Grandma Tsunade take such risks. Believe me! If it were him, he'd never. This would never have. He. Ah! Naruto! Sakura, enough. Just let him be. My apologies, Lord Fukasaku. I'll arrange for Naruto to. No, no. That's all right. That's just what I'd expect from Jiraiya Boy's student. He has the same fire in his belly. Let's adjourn for today. I expect Naruto will calm down if we give him some time. Hmm. All right. I'll go back until then. When the time comes, call me. Of course. You're dismissed. You as well, Shizune. Yes, ma'am.
you. You fool. What am I standing around here for? I'm out of here! Hey there, Naruto. I hear you've been real active on missions and such. Everyone in the village is talking about you. Hey, let's go somewhere and catch up. I'll buy you some Ichiraki ramen. No thanks. Naruto? since I've seen the Hidden Leaf Village. Sure is a relief to be back, isn't it? This last field mission took forever. Oh, I wonder how everybody's doing. <laughs> It'll be great to see them all again. Hey, you two, settle down. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Well, we can't help it, Sensei. It's just been so long. Honestly. When I came back to the Hidden Leaf Village, Pervy Sage told me to settle down too, didn't he? Pretty harsh, as always. We're just getting started. I'll increase the amount of difficulty little by little. <laughs> what? Why the laugh? Are you looking forward to more punishment? No, not that. I'm just glad to be training. Glad? It gets tougher every day, but when I think I'm getting closer to Sasuke, bit by bit, it just makes me happy. I'll get stronger and stronger, and I'll get Sasuke back for sure! Always cheerful with a positive attitude, huh? 
Looking at you, I'm convinced that someday a bright light will shine into this world of ninja. Huh? Where's this coming from? Unfortunately, right now, the world is overrun by hatred. Hatred? It's a product of war, the grudge felt after something is lost. Orochimaru and Sasuke lost their families and were trapped by hatred. They're also victims in a way. I'm always thinking that I want to do something about this hatred, but I'm not sure how to go about it yet. But I truly believe that the day will come when all people will understand one another and live in harmony. Wow, that's kind of deep. Well then, if I can't find the solution myself, shall I pass the quest on to you? Yes, sir. Can't refuse your orders, Pervy Sage. <laughs> huh? What's so funny? I feel redeemed by your smiling face. <laughs> I'm glad I made you my student. Naruto. Iruka Sensei. I heard about Lord Jiraiya. I wanted him to keep watching over me. Wanted him to see me become Hokage. But I only ended up showing Pervy Sage the worst, most uncool side of me. I... Lord Jiraiya only ever had praise for you. He was always boasting about you, saying you were like his own grandchild. Pervy Sage? He had faith that you were the one who would inherit his will, that you would become a wonderful Hokage one day. So... But... Hmm? Pervy Sage isn't here anymore. Even if he thought of me as his grandson, even if he believed I'd become Hokage, he isn't here anymore. He isn't anywhere anymore. He is. Huh? He's inside you, in your heart, and he'll always be watching over you. Inside me? It's true that Lord Jiraiya has left us, but the will you've inherited from him is still alive. The will? In all that time you spent walking with Jiraiya, what did you receive? It was a countless amount of ideas, a will. That's what you inherited. That, Lord Jiraiya's will, is alive. It's firmly alive inside of you. Close your eyes. You should find Lord Jiraiya within you. I believe. For example, even if the same thing happens to you, I believe you'll keep going with your head up. That your eyes will be clear. That you'll rush down the path you believe in. I'll always believe in you. Well, what did Lord Jiraiya say? They're inside you. Did he tell you to hesitate here and stay depressed? He... 
Maybe he didn't. He said he believed. That I keep going with my head up. That I rush down the path I believed in. He said he'd always believe in me. Did he? It's not like me to be depressed. He told me I could become Hokage. He said I was like his grandchild. If I stay depressed, Hervey Sage is gonna get mad at me. It really hurts. And it's frustrating and hard. But... But I won't just stand around anymore. I'm through hesitating. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna take what Pervy Sage gave me and charge down my own ninja way. As Pervy Sage's student, to the very end. <laughs> now that's the Naruto Uzumaki I know. Do your best. Yeah. Thanks, Iruka-sensei. Huh. Now, to make a fresh start. Final chapter. The Tale of Naruto Uzumaki. It looks like you're all here. Naruto, are you okay now? Yeah! <laughs> he does look better. All right. Lord Fukusaku, please tell us what you know about pain. Of course. This is the information on pain that Jiraiya Boy left for us. Renegon, huh? That's more worrisome than I anticipated. And there are six. Was there anything you yourself felt, Lord Fukusaku? At this point, we want all the information we can get. Hmm. Nothing in particular, but... Wait. No. Come to think of it, Jiraiya Boy mumbled something. Hey, what's wrong? The real one isn't here. Jiraiya boy? The real one isn't here? What's that supposed to mean? I don't know. I have no idea why he said it. There isn't much we can do with so little to go on. Naruto? I've got pain pretty much figured out. I'm... I'm gonna go train! Naruto, what are you talking about? It doesn't matter what kind of awesome abilities he has. All I have to do is grow stronger than he is! I'm gonna go train. I'll get that strength! And avenge the pervy sage's death! I can't just sit around doing nothing! Pushing yourself is good, but... You can train all you like. You still won't stand a chance against pain. What was that? So, come along with me. I'll train you in Sage Jutsu at Mount Myoboku. Mount Myoboku? If I train there, I'll be able to beat pain? That I couldn't say. But your chances will be better than they are now. Ha! <laughs> then there's nothing to think about! There's a path to beating pain. I'll embrace it full force and sprint to the end! <laughs> Nicely said. Huh. Then I'll entrust Naruto to you for a while. He's a bit of a loudmouth. But please, take good care of him. I think I can manage that. Okay, then. Naruto boy, go prepare for your training. I'll be waiting at the gate to the Leaf Village. 
All right, I'm gonna give it everything I've got. Too slow! 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 Too slow!